Good morning, Asia. Lucky you, it's Friday. It's been a long week in the world of FX. Busy, busy enough, can't complain. I've got a, uh, a short-term tactical play here that I will show you, I'll present to you via a few charts. Um, dollar, I think that, you know, the dollar's had a huge run, obviously, since, uh, you know, here's the cable chart since, the, you know, middle of April. Uh, you know, big, big moves in all the dollar pairs. I feel like they're starting to, starting to uh, top out the dollar is. Here's cable after Bank of England's Kearney. You know, we had a big outside bar here. Um, we were down below 134.85, those old lows. We actually got down, this is kind of cute. If you look and look to see where this low is. The January low was 134.60, one. And today's low was 134.61. So it's kind of an interesting place to stop. Um, we did close below the 200-day moving average, but it had a little bit of a bounce. We're trading around 135.10.15 right now. Um, you know, this is this looks to me that this last little, these last few days have reforced. And it's not that uncommon for a currency pair to make a, a high or a low um, on an important event day. And we had the MPC, we had the QIR, we had uh, what the market perceived as a dovish carny, and then he came back and spoke and said he still sees a rate hike this year. Uh, a lot of the banks have, have put out reports today saying that they don't see any rate hikes till next year, or perhaps they're even done with the hiking cycle. Uh, data dependent, typical carny fashion, but more importantly, let's just take a look at some of the other dollars. Why don't we start with dollar EM? Because if you remember, uh, when we became bullish, um, we became bullish. We started becoming bullish a dollar way back here again on the 17th. We had this little reversal bar higher in dollar max, and, and it you know went up 170 points basically. That led the that started leading the other dollars. You see this very ugly three-day pattern, a green bar, doji type bar off of 1870, huge down bar today. Um, a couple banks have come out with short dollar MEX um, recommendations. Dollar Turkey, similar reversal lower day, another lower day today. So again, you know, and for me, this this level right here, 420, is huge in in dollar Turkey, uh, dollar Rand, kind of a Doji-ish type day, big down day today. A lot of the dollar selling was on the back of the uh, slightly weaker CPI. Um, so you're, you're, we're starting to see some reversal type patterns uh, that are negative. The dollar here's Kiwi after the RBNZ, which I didn't think was all that dovish. A little bit surprised it got all the way down to 69. It did come back up and close at 69.65. Um, you know, it's a big tail here. Um, I thought maybe we'd get a test of this low weekly close of 2017 down here, 68.18 at some point. But I, I, I'm definitely, you know, watching the EM space, uh, dollar China. Kind of an ugly pattern after a decent run up. Dollar Singapore, I'll show you the dollar sing chart. There's a bearish engulfing pattern back below the 200 day. Um, you know, again, this is another one that's had a nice run up since the middle of April. So, like I s stated early in the, in the, uh, early in our, um, broadcast is that I, I feel like the dollars maybe in the short term is due for maybe a one or two percent sell-off. Um, again, there's a Kiwi dollar. Here's Aussie. Aussie closed very strong. This is a bullish pattern right here, three-day pattern. Um, 
Euro, I, I really don't know what's going on with the Euro cable. Looks like it's kind of done enough. I mean, it's been a massive move from the 143.70 area all the way down to 134.60 today. Um, dollar Swiss is perplexing. It, you know, another huge parabolic rise up since February. Very, very uh, strong uptrend since the middle of April. It really took off, and this this is starting to look bubbly. We know the sentiment is very low for uh, the bullish sentiment for the Swiss franc. So looking at that, it's dollar Swiss uh, exuberance. We do have a triple top up here now at 10056. To me, it seems like a good sale. You could risk these highs, leave a stop over 60. Uh, we tried the bearish engulfing day to day. There were massive bids right around 100 the figure, got down as low as 95.96. I think this is a break trade now. We got the you know the tri the three daily highs up here. Um, I've got a little level here at 36 as well. Uh, I could see this correcting. So if my thesis proves correct with uh, a tactical dollar sell-off you know, kind of a 1% to 2% move. And then I could see this going higher again. Um, this would be the day that I would say it, it, it's ready to make, you know, start a bit of a correction. Uh, no real economic data tomorrow aside from uh, Canadian jobs. Here's another dollar pair that, you know, dollar cat it came off from that 130 area and then had two big down bars. Uh, you know, I could see if they get an in-line to stronger Canadian jobs number. There's no reason why we can't uh, retrace this move so, you know, pretty quickly. Canadian dollar definitely seems strong relative to uh, some of the others. Let's see if we can get this Vivo here. So we've done just over half retracement. 127.06 and 126.35 are the next two fibs, and we got the 100-day, the 200-day moving average uh, right in between the two-thirds and the three-quarters. So kind of rolling over momentum-wise. Um, again, calling for a, uh, you know, kind of a 1% to 2% correction over the next week in the dollar. It's showing up in EM. It's showing up in the majors, and uh, that's my call. And I'll stick with it, and it's pretty good risk reward, you know. Especially if you look at something like Dollar Swiss, that uh, we're trading around 30, you're risking 25, 30 points, and you know I'm not taking anything back till this 99.35, um, you know, even which is Matt, even the kind of 98.45, which are these old highs. All right, good luck. Have a great weekend. You'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.